Hello, Justin Brown here. Recently I uploaded a video uh, answering the question, what video editing software should I use if I'm using a Mac? Well, today I'm going to answer the question, but for the PC users. One response to this question I saw on a forum the other night was, for PC users, what software that they should use, they should jump on apple.com and buy a Mac. Well, if you're not happy with that answer, you will be happy to know that if you're editing on a PC, you've got far more options for software than you would if you were using a Mac. At the lowest level, you've got your Windows Movie Maker, which is free. It's very basic, but it's video editing software. It will allow you to do basic cuts, basic imports, basic exports out to YouTube, out to Vimeo, out to Google Drive and Dropbox. Moving up from Movie Maker, you've got AVS Video Editor, which isn't free, but it's not expensive. And there's a lot of features in there to take your videos to the next level. Moving up from there, you start to move into the 79 to 129 price bracket. And this is where there is some competition and there are some standouts in this field, but there's also a lot to choose from. A lot of the editors in this price range will still give you template based editing. So you can say, I want to do a wedding video or I want to do a day at the beach video and there'll be set templates there for you that you can use and it will help you edit the video based off the style of the video that you've told it you're going to create. But what they'll start to do at this level is to add more manual control and they'll also introduce the timeline which will allow layered video tracks and greater control and greater flexibility for your editing. So at this level, you've got software like Sony Movie Studio. You've got Adobe Premiere Elements, which is the cut down version of Adobe Premiere Pro. There's also Pinnacle Studio, Corel Video Studio, and Cyberlink Power Director. Now there's a lot of overlap and a lot of these programs are very similar, but there's a few standouts. So at this level, your Pinnacle, your Cyberlink and your Corel all support 4K video editing. So they support a larger range of file types. These three also support GPU rendering, which is where it takes the load off your processor and uses your video card to do a lot of the number crunching and a lot of the video processing in order to maximize the performance if you've got a video card that supports it. So moving up from here is where you'll expect to spend a bit more money, but the software here is at the next level. It's going to give you far greater control over your effects, over the file types that you can use, um, over the performance that it'll extract from your computer, and just the general way that you'll actually go about your editing and your storytelling, as well as the output files that it supports. So these include things like Sony Vegas, Edius, Adobe Premiere Pro, and even Avid above that. As I said in my previous video, these are just tools to get the job done. So it's pretty important that you find a tool that you're able to use and has the flexibility to do in it what you're looking to do with your videos. And as you grow over time and your editing skills become refined, you will move up through these editing softwares and grow with it and your videos will grow with it as well. So if you can start out by downloading 30 day trials of the software and testing them and seeing what works for you and your style of editing or what works for you right now with the skill and knowledge that you've got. The other thing to realize with these two is that the keyboard shortcuts across the board are very similar. By learning the basic keyboard shortcuts, you'll be able to progress and edit much quicker no matter which editing software you're using. Well, I hope that helps. As I said, there is a lot of choice out there and I definitely haven't covered every piece of software around, just the top ones or the ones that I feel are top ones and are worth you looking into if you're looking for some video editing software on a PC. Make sure you subscribe at videoeditingcoach.com and also to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below this video and let me know what video editing software you're using or that you've tried before. We'll catch you next time.